Hi, quick video for everyone who's looking to do the uh, late as usual setup for the geometry nodes in the experimental branch that he mentioned that he is creating this um, rumble effect which is called the uh, Utapon cubes on any anime production. I managed to construct the entire node because he shared it so here it is. Most of the the JPEG that he pasted is quite readable. But what I wanted to address for anyone new into Geometry Nodes is that you have the group input, right click on it, and then it says collapse and hide unused sockets. That means that whenever you connect a parameter into this, a new socket with that attribute will be created. Then you can right click and then collapse it so that the only attribute used is shown. And that brought me to solve this red nodes that I have right here for the group material, displace random, cube thickness, and maximum rotate because those are parameters inside the node group, the, the main input node group, uh, except that they are just uh, right click collapsed. So for example here in the displace random, I what I did was directly to take the vector scale and connect it to the uh, unused socket like you see right here and then if you press N, you can rename this. So displace random, you can just name that. So let's do let's do it for the group material because he also has a group material here, which means that in your parameters right here, we need to add a material. So how do we do that? Well, you again take the shift A group input. The group input is right here. That's the empty socket, and then you're going to connect that in here. Bam and then the material socket is created which is right here then you can proceed to uh, change the name right here so let's call this I don't know material so okay Mr. Schiller the effect looks cool but what do I do with that well if you remember we have the eyes uh, shaders already so you can use the shaders to be applied on this plane in the material section I'm going to be applying the dark iceberg shader if you don't know where they are they are back on November 2020 or 2019 one of those anyways you can grab the empty I'm going to be scaling it because the scaling also has an effect on the plane remember this is just the plane it is not pre shatter or pre fracture but you can create one though geometry nodes modifier will do the rest so again here's my bevel setup and the uh, weighted normal as he had it okay I'm going to be experimenting more on this but so far you just drag and drop the dark iceberg shader into this plane as you already know it is shadeless so it doesn't matter how many lights you put around it this is just working as intended because it's even got a parallax effect so what's the deal here so if you grab this uh, empty which is going to be conducting the the effect on the plane you can, for example, I don't know, make something really heavy fall on the on the plane, and then it will show you the impact. Boom, like this. Let's say two characters are fighting. One of them, you know, uh, hits him, hits the other one with a really heavy punch, and then he's going to be thrown off into the ice, and this uh, dramatic effect, boom, can take place with volumes you can literally create the entire um, particle dust that can go along with this so it's just bam, the fragment and if you need to rotate this inside cubes even more or manipulate them you can come here into maximum rotation for the internal or the external right these are rather the external ones but he mentioned that you can also do that if you come into the uh, ramp that is I guess down here cubes rotate inside the empty so I take I took notice on what he mentioned about his own setup so you also know where to to go to make your adjustments in the notes anyways this has been a long video let me know if, if this is something that you might be interested in digging up some more information so that we can you know work, work this kind of effects this looks really cool if you come from moto you have falloffs for your modifiers but in blender geometry nodes we need to create those falloffs so this is not the only way that you can create a falloff 
but it is sure cool as heck look at that boom so yeah this is this is this is a great effect and you can try this with your own setup and scenes with this kind of shading